Welcome back, everybody, to Trailer Talk at Scrumptious Unscripted. I am your hostess, Kat, with me always, the good sir, Pappy. And we are going to be discussing the first two weeks of March 2016. And go! And we're done. <laughs> we're done. We're not even going to tell you. Just leave That's... the thumbnail. Yeah. Welcome to the first two weeks of March, where if you're busy, you ain't going to miss much. Uh, I struggled to find, you know, we stick to non-kids movies because we're biased towards enjoying them too much, and stick to the wide releases, and I went to the wide releases and went, huh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, there's a couple that look good, it's just there's very little competition in the coming for all of March, so we're going to hit the first week of March, March 4th, London has fallen. The sequel to... Olympus Has Fallen. Has Fallen. Not White House Down. That was a completely different yeah. movie. Yeah. Separate movie. Same premise. Maybe we'll do a box office brawl on that. Maybe. London Has Fallen. Sequel to the one that I liked better. <laughs> but yeah, Gerard Butler is the president's Secret man. Secret Service. The only competent member because he's made of solid titanium. And the president gets attacked along with a bunch of other world leaders at an event in London this time. Things explode. It's uh, another one of those wonderful, well, we've got a rough plot of the, the person saving the person. But didn't, while it happens, I sound like the no, I'm going to stop that. I sound like Bill Cosby. Um, <laughs> one important. person saving another person, but in the meantime, everything explodes. It's like, do we really need the Big Ben for this? No. Well, fuck it. Blow up a model of it. Yeah. You know? It's, it's that kind of movie. So even though it's not an end-of-the-world film, there's going to be a whole lot of things on fire. It looks like fun. <laughs> it does. No, it looks like the first one was fun. The knockoff one was fun. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. It's a fun, good, happy explosions and, and action puns. Yeah, if you just want to watch people get punched in the face by Gerard Butler, and you have taste to not go see Gods of Egypt... <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> I'm not the only one to fire the shot. I think it was a freaking squad this weekend. But anyhow, and another another option you have is a Tina Fey-led drama called Whiskey Tangle Foxtrot. Yeah, clever. Yeah. I don't know what to say. It's based on a true story, maybe. I, I didn't read up on it. It's based <laughs> on an idea of sending a woman to cover war in the Middle East in 2002. It's Tina Fey. She's funny. the The trailer looked all right, but it just it didn't look didn't grab me much, you know. No, I, you know. Well, I think at this point our audience knows my feelings on seeing comedies in a theater. Although I did go see Deadpool. And not if you, it, Margot Robbie, but again, if you want to see her in a movie that might be more fun, wait a couple of months. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's going to be something else coming out with her. Just I mean, some small independent film. <laughs> Some small thing. Now, this one for me looks like an overdrawn SNL skit from the trailer, and that's kind of my problem with a lot of the stuff she's been doing lately. I like, I mean, the premise of a woman journalist in a war zone, I, I like the, the obvious jokes of, hey, you can now get laid forever, you know, that <laughs> kind of stuff. It, it, yeah, good observation. I've been in the military 15 years. It's, not, it's a stale joke as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's enough substance there for me. But th I like Tina Fey. I'll probably end up personally checking it out when it hits like Netflix in two years. <laughs> and is that that? Do we have one more? I think, think we, we have, have that one. That was more? just March fourth. That was. Oh, that was just March fourth. God, it sounds dull. Nobody wants to compete with yeah. Deadpool. <laughs> there's other movies, but they're not worth. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. There's a, uh, a supernatural called The Other Side of the Door. I have heard nothing, seen nothing. And I read the premise and then decided we're just going to go right to March 11th. <laughs> Skip! <laughs> Again, now this this is the only week that I personally was like, okay, there are two potentially good movies. Uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane, which... Nobody Somehow. knew about until like three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. and considering John Goodman's in it, I'm like, how did, 
how did they keep this from me? <laughs> I, I know a lot of people are like, if this ends up having anything to do with Cloverfield, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. I'm like, it's going to have something to do with Cloverfield. And you're going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> but I'm excited because John Goodman. <laughs> And no matter how bad the movie is, John Goodman is always worth watching for me. Yes. And I'm really curious. It looks really tense. And I think that's all I need from a thriller is to actually feel claustrophobic, feel like, what the hell? It's going to yeah. be good. I hope it's good, but uh, me, me and Abrams, <laughs> we don't have a great track record together. A, her captor, a, doom, well, a, a woman who wakes up underground after a terrible car accident and fear, fears she's been abducted. Her captor, a doomsday prepper, warns her a terrible chemical attack has left the outside world uninhabitable. So... Is it going to be that? Is it, is, or is there a giant monster rampaging around? Or is it going to be a lie? We'll find out. You have to tune in and see. Oh, yeah. If, and my understanding from the trailer is John Goodman is the captor. Yeah. So, yeah. And then on a completely different programming note, <laughs> but still looks entertaining, the brothers Grimsby. <laughs> Mark Strong and Sasha Baron Cohen were brothers separated Put up for adoption, I believe, if I remember that correctly. I saw the trailer once. <laughs> that Welcome to that. accurate reporting and conversation. Yeah. No, honestly, it looks silly. It looks funny. I actually really been enjoying Sacha Baron Cohen. I think he's a great actor, and it's been interesting seeing him branch out. And again, if you want to see him in a good movie, I'd recommend this over Alice Through the Looking Glass, where he looks pretty cool, but then you're watching another Tim Burton movie where no originality was put into it. Tim Burton, what are you doing? <laughs> Tim Burton, why? <laughs> but yeah, uh, Brothers Grimsby, straight up action comedy. Ranji, Ranji action comedy. Yeah. yeah. I think if you get, yeah, if you put Sasha Baron Cohen and comedy in there, it's going to be raunchy. Like, he can he'll, he can behave for a drama. But, <laughs> oh, comedy? Well, there's going to be a penis here somewhere. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. It's in my contract. <laughs> yeah. It's it's on the rider for my contract. You know, some people only want green M and M's. I just want to whip my dick out, <laughs> or somebody else's. Yeah, penis here. It's their has and to be a dick. If you go through all of the movie releases websites, any of them, you're going to see a shit ton of limited releases coming out in March. But that's not for us to discuss because it doesn't. You know, you're the audience of the nation, the world, even. <laughs> So why would I talk about a movie that's going to release in two theaters in L.A.? So that's it for the first that's two weeks of March. it? Wow. That's Again, there's, there's three other internet or nationwide releases, but we've talked about the four that look even remotely worth your time as an adult. If you're going to go see the kids' films, you don't need us to tell, tell you anything about it. You report I'm totally going to go see Zootopia. Yeah, but I'm saying, if you're going to see Zootopia, you've already made up your mind. I mean, when it comes to watching a Pixar or a Disney or anything like that, you've made the decision. It doesn't matter what anyone says. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to sell you on that. Like, yeah. But we'll see you at the theater. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in for the first half of March here, and we will see you in two weeks. For the second half of March. For the second half of March. So... Maybe we have helped inform you because, again, there's some stuff like Cloverfield. Who the F knew that was coming out? I'm yeah. still not seeing promo stuff for it, and it comes out in a week. Yeah, it comes out, in, and I'm still waiting for a second trailer. Yeah. So that's why we're here, to help you, and we will see you in two weeks. And in the interim, you can check out our new show, which is Box Office Brawl, which will be airing every other Thursday. And we got a new one for you this week, where it was just abysmal. <laughs> just, just. Which movie was less bad? Yeah. Which movie sucked less? Let's watch Cat go on a total tirade about one movie that came out years ago. Good times. We'll see you there. Bye, everybody.